Hi. So this is kind of like a, a first official review for a product that I got. Um, and uh, it was for free, so this is a disclaimer. Uh, I, they just uh, gave it to me for free so I can review on it. So what I wanted to show you is uh, the product and what I'm going to do. Okay, this is what I was thinking. Okay, since some of my audience is usually kind of the, the Japanese anime crowd and y'all go to conventions and cosplays, and since Slow Row Row is uh, st stuck all of you guys at home, I'm like, okay, so this could be a good good time for you guys to maybe uh, in the next year, perhaps? I have no clue. Uh, that you might want to try this out, but you can also, you know, for practical reasons, especially since you can't go out that much right now, uh, hopefully you have patches or whatever, or, you know, something that's mended, uh, needs to be mended. You don't have to sew it back in. This product is perfect for you. It's called Tear Mender. I'm not sure if this thing can focus. I'm not really good at this, but, um, uh, what it basically is, is that, um, it helps, what I got one, they got all kinds of things, they got all kinds of things, but, uh, this is actually, um, for fabric and leather adhesive, so, uh, what I was thinking about doing is repairing some shoes of mine, and this would be it, I had this, I had this since, oh, for God knows how long, at least, Oh, more than 10 years but uh, you see that the wedge is kind of coming off and uh, it looks really bad so I'm kind of like okay I asked them can I get something like like uh, for shoes or something and they're like okay I was also thinking about trying to uh, repair these but these look like they're beyond repair but I'm gonna try them out anyway so uh, you can use this on like blue jeans if you have any uh, you don't want to go to a tailor or something and you, you just don't want to try and get this sewn or you're just not a sewer at all. Um, I also was thinking about uh, whether or not it also works on, I know a lot of cosplays sometimes have uh, involved foam. So uh, I was thinking, okay, I might like do a little fun little collage with some of the leftover um, foam I had that wasn't selling. Uh, so um, cut a little fun design out and uh, see how how it works. Uh, I know this is for fabric and leather, but I don't know. I don't know if this would be considered like a. Uh, I don't know. I, I, we're gonna find out. <laughs> so basically, um, what I wanted to also talk about is uh, on the back. It says uh, it's waterproof. It's permanent. It's quick drying. It's flexible. It's UV resist resistant, and it's acid free. Uh, it's for clothing, leather, upholstery, home decor, sports. Marine, indoor, and outdoor. I also seen on the uh, site that you can actually um, repair like these, like um, I saw baseball gloves. So it's one of those things uh, and all, all that stuff. First of all, I want to also say that this is made in America. So it's not made in China or anything like that. Uh, all American. They've been around since, uh, according to them, 1932. So, um, be a, it'd be a great product for you guys to um, try out. So um, this is great for DIY, crafting, for crafts, uh, and everything else under the sun. Um, they have all different kinds of products uh, of types of glue from what I've seen. Uh, and um, I will put their store and stuff down below. And uh, we're going to do a little demonstration, see how, how uh, the shoes come out. Let's see how the... Um, foam comes out little fun little project and uh just just experiment on maybe we'll do an experiment first on the green shoes and see how it comes out so we have our uh sample shoe i may have to throw these away unfortunately but we're going to use it uh this part for a sample like these little two little parts that are here for the, on the left shoe um so uh, according to the directions, if this can focus, if not, I'll just read it to you guys. But, um, looks like it won't. Uh, it says to, for general use, you shake, shake wear well before use. Okay. Okay, you spread a thin layer of tear mender onto the patch or the item being repaired. For thicker material applied to both surfaces. So this isn't a thick material. 
Um, that would probably be like for the blue jeans. Um, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, press two surfaces together and allow to dry. Dries in three minutes. Machine washable in 15 minutes. These are shoes, so that we won't have to worry about that. But I did find something I may want to use. Uh, something else besides the the other shoe I was thinking about doing. Okay, and you turn turn this one open, and I got paper towels just in case. Okay, and I'm a dork. Um, apparently, there is a a seal. <laughs> there is a seal for this. So uh, make sure you open this up first, and don't do like what I did and be a dork. <laughs> it smells like Pepto Bismol. I just wanted to let people know. <laughs> okay, it does come out pretty quickly. But uh, the sque little squeeze thing is pretty good. So I think we'll have to spread this out a little bit. The best I can, anyway. And these, these shoes are, like, so bad. <laughs> but for the purpose of experimentation, it should be pretty good. Okay, it does have kind of a watery vibe to it. Um, just want just tap this out just a little bit. So there's a little particles that are kind of missing on on this shoe because it is falling apart. Um, and that's no fault to the uh, to this by any means. Um, it's just that it's just falling apart. That's all. But for the sake of experimentation, so I'm going to try and wipe this off for the sake of um, using it later. So this should dry. In, what did they say? Three minutes. And again, I don't know if I, I caught this, but <laughs> it's like, it's, it smells like Pepto-Bismol. This, this stuff smells like Pepto-Bismol for some reason. I don't know if it's, it has some sort of minty, uh, or some sort of minty thing that kind of reminds me of it. But just to let everybody know, this is also non-toxic. Um, it's also also says trust the bish so it's bish's original tear mender okay i think i may have to have put a little bit more on it but it did work on this side it worked pretty good on that side so i'm gonna put a little bit more and then i'll get back to it okay um so it looks pretty good. Um, you can see see if you can focus. Fortunately, the lighting's not that good for me. Um, but it looks pretty uh, pretty decent for what it is. Unfortunately, I may have to throw these away, but um, it's a good it's good practice um, so far. So good. Oh, on to smaller fry. Uh, so we're going to see how are we going to mend this together because apparently we have to get two in and it will take about three minutes according to this. And I'm, I might have to put some thick, make it real thick. But I'm going to stand this up once it, well as it dries, but I'm going to put as much material on it as I possibly can. Yep. 
Well, it kind of, it does have a watery feel to it, so, uh, that's the only downside I would have towards this, uh, this glue. But I think you could probably wash it off, so, wipe it, wipe it down. So I realize I may have to put a little bit more glue on the on the heel part. Um, I don't want to open it up too much. Okay. 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 Let's see. Okay. Okay. So despite. The so I felt a little bit of the tackiness coming off slightly. Um, so I did wait for at least three minutes, but I think it would probably be better. Uh, I have them on, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to step on it, and I had to put a little bit extra tacky on the, uh, pretty much on the very back of the, sh the heel, because it was coming off, off right there. So um, later on, um, I'll put it in the in my hallway and see how it looks uh, and go from there. One thing I forgot that I had was something I haven't uh, sewn and um, I was thinking about you doing it. Um, so uh, let's uh, see if this actually repairs itself um, once we're done. <laughs> the fact that it does leave a bit of water this but you know I don't I don't mind it um you may have to scrape some of it off um with your fingers or with your hands or or whatever I don't think it's really that much of a, a big deal to me uh just keep in mind that this stuff is watery it's not like it's a, a gel or anything but it's uh it it seems pretty sturdy so I'm gonna try these on and put them on my feet and uh see what they look like uh, as I walk. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to, t had to do a little bit of housekeeping on this one. Okay, so uh, so we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping, see an experiment on this one, since this is, this has been my, um, one of my favorites, and even though I can't go outside that m much anymore. Um, or, uh, I was thinking about, uh, trying to put this back together, see if, if uh, sewing isn't required on this, so it requires some level of measuring to put this back together. Okay, we'll wait a few minutes and see what happens to this guy. Oh, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Now I want to see if this will work. <laughs> so, holy mackerel, guys. This stuff actually works pretty good. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm impressed with this. So, if you ever wanted to do a cosplay, you can um, be, able to, um, be able to repair it. It just takes about three minutes, maybe even longer. 
it, it really depends, I guess, on, on the fabric. Uh, it does well on shoes. It does, it does well on shoes so far. So good. The tackiness hasn't got off, and I'm still wearing those. Um, I'm pretty much impressed, but I know a lot of people will do cosplays with uh, with different types of materials and fabrics. But I also wanted to see, because uh, sometimes I see people do foam. I know it says on there it's an instant fabric and uh, leather adhesive, but despite the fact that it is, it is an, but despite the fact that it's uh, considered any type of, it's a fabric and leather adhesive, um, I wanted to see if it probably do on, well on foam. Um, I don't know. I know that there's some cosplays that do require foam. But they, uh, like I said, they do have other types of glue uh, for certain types of things. I just said I do need um, some some repair stuff for shoes, and so far, so far, Bicious Original Tear Mender has been doing pretty good so far. Um, only thing is that the 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 it's just that it's so liquefied that it just runs all over. I I think it would do best like for maybe for a gel. Uh but it's still good. It's really good. But uh yeah. So let's uh do some foam uh crafts too. So <laughs> what I have so far. This is the closest thing where it, this is where it's, it's dry. Um, it's still wet in some areas, but it turned out, but it turned out really cute. So, um, uh, for those of you who are doing foam, uh, I would say, um, just keep, be mindful this stuff is kind of liquidy, uh, uh, but it is really good and it tacks very well. Uh, so that's my two cents on it. It's great for little arts and crafts projects from what I see, despite the fact that it does say like, you know, mostly for fabrics and adhesives. Uh, it's um, pretty good. Um, so far I had no problems. Nothing has come off yet. So uh, everything looks uh, pretty good. Plain dandy. <laughs> I'm I'm satisfied with it. So again, this is uh, so again, this is Bishi's original tear mender. It's made in America. Uh, the the type of glue they got me is mostly for fabrics and adhesives, and uh, it works pretty good. It only only takes about three minutes for it to dry, but I think it really depends on uh, what it is, like you know, for the shoes or something like that. Um, it, it does take a while, so uh, be patient. Like, like I'm not very patient. So, um, it's non-toxic. Again, um, they sent it to me uh, to do a review on it, uh, and um, so uh, I'm getting paid in having this product. So I, I will put the link of their site down below. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with the product. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be as well. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you guys later. And I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And um, 
uh, for all of you cosplayers out there, great, great stuff. Uh, for you cosplayers out there, great products, um, good quality glue, especially on the go, especially if you got some tears or need something to be mended, uh, this is a good quality product for you. So I will see you guys later in the next video, and I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and stay safe, stay healthy, um, thoughts and prayers, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend or wonderful day or wonderful night, wherever you are.